Finnegan's Wake is, of course, a very dense and obscure book. Hey, nothing like overstating the obvious. Everybody knows this. But something you might not know is that Finnegan's Wake varies in its density depending on where in the book you happen to be reading. The closer to the center you are, the more obfuscated and challenging the material becomes, and as you travel to the book's outer edges, the material becomes more and more accessible. Now, this is not a completely hard and fast rule. The first three paragraphs of the book break it pretty handily, but the rule certainly applies to Thunderword number 9, which takes place on page 414, exactly 100 pages past the book's midpoint. Now that we've come out the other end of the really clouded and difficult stuff in Finnegan's Wake, Joyce starts giving us a little bit of breathing room. Well, maybe not breathing room per se, but at least coughing room... Huston, Huston, Kaffin, Coffin, Tussum, Tussum, Damon, Damna, Kosa, Kuzik, Hobix, Hatux, Pesuch, Bekos, Kashel, Karka, Karakt. As you can see, looking at the page on which this word occurs, a fellow named Sean, you see his name there, is getting ready to tell a fable, the Ondit and the Grace Hopper, a distortion, obviously, of Aesop's The Grasshopper and the Ant, to a group of eager listeners, and just before doing so, he clears his throat like so. Hosten, Hasten, Kaffen, Coffin, Tossum, Tossum, Daman, Damna, Kosek, Husek, Hobix, Hatux, Pesek, Bekos, Kashel, Kar, Kar, Well, hard though this may be to say in a single breath, the breakdown of this word could hardly be simpler if it were all in English. For one thing, everything is divided neatly into pairs. This all goes to feeding the duality theme prevalent in Finnegan's Wake. So here's the first set, and now the second. And as you might have already guessed, the components of this word are all taken from the word cough in one language or another. So you have the German husten for cough. You have the English there, of course, uh, but it's misspelled C-O-F-F-I-N, perhaps to invoke the wake, the Irish wake, or maybe coughing so hard you finally die. Uh, the Latin tussum is there, uh, along with the Italian and Portuguese, which are, of course, derived from the Latin with tossa. Uh, now, dama and damna might, I don't know, maybe, maybe you cough so hard that you curse. You're like, damn it, I'm coughing too hard. The Irish is there as well, na kasachta, which means of the cough. Now, personally, I don't think I've ever had call to either use or hear someone else use of the cough in a sentence, but if you ever need to do so in the Irish tongue, there it is. Now, uh, you may have noticed that, uh, that I anglicized my X's with Hobix and Hatux. And um, my justification uh, was that I figured, since in the Greeks and the French have their own idiosyncratic ways of pronouncing the 24th letter of the alphabet, so that in Greek you have Bech, and in French you have Tu, one might see these as kind of canceling each other out, since they're both in the same word component. That's where I rest my case, but you're free to pronounce it as you like, of course. So then we have Pesuk and Bekos and Kashel from the Welsh, Modern Greek, and Russian, respectively, and with that we can drill them. Hosten Hasten, Kaffen Coffin, Tossum Tossum, Daman Damna, Kosak Husak, Hobix Hatux, Pasuk Bakos, Kashel Kar Kar Karakt. And since this last word component is six syllables and can kind of trip you up as a result, after all, the others count out nice and clean with four trochaic syllables apiece, a good way to practice this is by dividing it into a pair of amphimisers or cretics, just as the others are all divided into pairs of trochees, so that you have Kashel Kar. Car correct. It's a good place to start when you're practicing, at least. So let's string these together, shall we? Hosten, Hasten, Kaffen, Coffin. Tossum, Tossum, Daman, Damna. Kosak, Husak, Hobix, Hatux. Pesak, Bakos, Kashol, Car, 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 So there it is, Thunderword number nine. Hosten, Hasten, Kaffen, Coffin, Tossum, Tossum, Daman, Damna, Kosak, Husak, Hobix, Hatux, Pesak, Bekos, Kashel, Kar, 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 Rakt. Whew. 
Perhaps the simplest of the Ten Thunder words in terms of structure, but I have to say, the most challenging if you want to get it all out in one breath. I mean, look at all those H's. You know, not to mention the S's and the F's and all the aspirated consonants in general that are packed into this word. Add to that the fact that the speaker is coughing, and boy, you have you have a serious dilemma on your hands, especially if you want to perform it live. My solution when I'm performing this section of the book for live audiences is to kind of huff out that first H in Houston and let the remaining syllables pour out as fast as I can articulate them, like so. And let's see if I can do this. Houston, Houston, Kaffin, Kaffin, Tussum, Tussum, Damon, Dam, Nakosa, Kuzak, Hobix, Hatux, Pesak, Bekos, Kashok, Ark, 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 Whew, nothing like a real challenge to start your day. If you can pull it off, it's a real crowd pleaser.